Tusamee Samuel wa kwanza 15. Read for us first Samuel 15. Neno kinaitwa utiifu. Respect. Neno linaitwa utiifu. Respect. Neno linaitwa utiifu. Obedience. Samuel wa kwanza 15. First Samuel 15. Ni parefu la Kristo tuanzie tu hapo 18. You begin from 18. Kisha Bwana akatuma safarini akasema, enenda ukawaangamize kabisa wale wa, mal- wa maleki wenye dhambi, upigane nao hata watakapoangamia. Mbona basi hukutii sauti ya Bwana bali ukazirukia nyara ukafanya yaliyo maovu machoni pa Bwana? Sauli akamwambia Samueli, "Hakika mimi nimetii sauti ya Bwana. Nami nimemleta Hagagi, mfalme wa Amaleki, tena nimemwangamiza wa Amaleki kabisa. Ila watu walileta nyara, kondoo na ngombe walio wazuri katika vitu vilivyowekwa wakfu, kusudi, kusudi wavitoe dhabihu kwa Bwana. Mungu wako uko Gelgali." Naye Samueli akasema, Je Bwana uzipenda sadaka za kuteketezwa na dhabihu sawa sawa na kutii sauti ya Bwana angalia kutii ni bora kuliko dhabihu na kusikia kuliko mafuta ya beberu kwa kuwasi ni kama dhambi ya uchawi na ukaidi ni kama ukafiri na vi, vinyago kwa kuwa umelikataa neno la Bwana yeye naye amekukataa wewe usiwe mfalme And the Lord sent thee on a journey and said Go and utterly destroy the sinners the Amalekites and fight against them until they be consumed wherefore then didst thou not obey the voice of the Lord but didst fly upon the spoil and didst evil, evil in the sight of the Lord and Saul said unto Samuel yea i have obeyed the voice of the Lord and have gone the way which the Lord sent me and have brought Agag the king of Amalekite and have utterly destroyed the Amalekites but but the people took this but the people took of the spoil sheep and oxen the chief of the things which should be utterly destroyed to sacrifice unto the Lord thy God in Gilgal and Samuel said hath the Lord has great delight in burnt offerings and saf- sacrifices as in the obeying voice of the lord behold to obey is better than sacrifice and to hearken than the fat of the rams for rebellion is as is as the sin of witchcraft and stubbornness is as iniquity and idolatry because thou hast rejected the word of the lord he hath also rejected thee from being king hallelujah hallelujah samuel huyo It's Samuel. Na mfalme Sauli. <coughs> and the king Saul. Amri ya gizo limetolewa. Ene vitani to go to fight. Usichukue nyara hata kitu kimoja. And don't take anything. Akas. But he rebelled. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lengo lake his main aim kweli, was to give to God sacrifice. Mungu, he was to give sacrifice to God. Njia, si but whatever way he got them was not, kuti, was not legal because nyingi, dada, ndugu, you can have so many ways with you. Kweli, ya nyumba, you are a husband indeed in the house. Yako, but for your ha- wife to do wish, kumuacha, you have to threaten her, kane, to abuse her, nja, to leave her hungry. Ah, That's not the way. God said you husband. Respect your wife. They are weak vessels. That's why you are going to inherit all good. And your prayers will be heard. Dio kwa kumutisha. Yes, you threaten her. And leave her hungry. Takutii. And and she will become but that's not the way of the lord you are not respecting her when you abuse her that's right. whatever you are doing is not right she will listen to you and also be able to do what you want. but the lord god says that she should be that way because she is a weak person even though she is weak don't let her go hungry. do what is right hallelujah 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 
Ni njia kweli kwako wewe itakufaidi. Yeah, it's a beneficial way to kufanya akupe haki zako mke huyu. And will make her do as you wish. Lakini je, hii njia unaitumia ni ya haki? But is this a righteous way? Ndio Mungu alisema hii. And that's what God is saying. Kule kumtukana na kumtukana. The way you are abusing. Kule kumfedhesha na kumfedhesha. The way you are doing na kule unavyomfanya una siki tumbele za watoto. And the way you don't respect her before the kids. Je, hii ndio haki? Is this what is righteous? Basi yeye hajui kupigana. She doesn't know how to fight. Yeye yeah, hajui kufunga ngumi kupigana na mwanaume. She doesn't know how to fight with a man. Lakini umetenda dhambi. But you have done sin. Umefedhesha mbele za wana. You have done sin. Pengine hata ni mbele za majirani. Even before the neighbors. Hallelujah. 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 Taondolewa ufalume wako. And the kingship will be taken away from you. Utaona ule ufalume ulionao kazini kwako. You will see all the leadership in your work station. Ufalume mapato. All the leadership of getting what you want. Ufalume wateja kujaa kwa biashara zako. And all customers coming to your area. Kwa una mtu umpi haki. Because there is someone you are not giving righteousness to. Na utakosa haki kule. You will not have righteousness as well. Hallelujah. 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 Ndo, wesa kona ndugu wa menuka. We can see a brother being able to come up with so many progresses and so many good businesses. But tomorrow they are no longer there. And once you follow up, being progressive as they are, a wife is, is nothing to them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To him the wife is nothing. Anasema, and the Lord God says, in first Peter, anasema, hey, waume, all husbands, stay with your wives and give them respect. Warithi, wanema, ya uzima. And you inherit the good Na life. And your prayers will be heard. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. She can easily give up. She can easily give up. You can stay with a cup of tea the whole day. But she can't. She has taken tea. At 10 she needs a cup of porridge. You have brought a packet of unga and you wanted to stay for a whole week. When she says that there is no flour, whatever you speak to her, you will eat like a pig. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't you know about the economy? Then it will just be sorry. But you have disrespected God. You have not respected God. You are a leader. But you have not respected God. But you've not respected. Hallelujah. 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 Dio, fedha yingi zinapata wandugu wa Kristo kwa sababu ya kutoti. We get all these problems because we do not obey. Na imani kweli. You have faith. Ya kuona kufanikiwa. With seeing all the progress. Ya kuona mungu wakaya katika njia zenu. And not seeing God being your way. Nano nilaito utif. But the word obedience. Hallelujah. 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 Imani, faith, na utif. and obedience. Utif. Obedience. Utif. Obedience. Amen. Amen.